Hello, today I'm going to be discussing a crucial aspect of the admissions process for Brinksome Hall Asia, the MAP Reading Test. Brinksome Hall Asia requires applicants to take the MAP, Math, and Reading Tests. It also requires a Korean essay and English interview. A second interview may be required for boarding students. Today, we will be focusing on the MAP Reading Test. I will cover the structure of the test and go over some useful strategies to help you prepare for the exam. We will also be going over some sample test questions to give you an idea of what to expect on test day. The MAP reading test is a reading test that consists of roughly 60% reading comprehension based questions and 40% vocabulary based items if we extrapolate from the official practice tests from the NWEA. It is a computer-based test and questions are adaptive, meaning the difficulty level of the test changes according to the abilities of the test taker. Both nonfiction and fiction-based passages are on the exam. The test itself contains roughly 40 questions and you will have up to 60 minutes to finish the test, but many finish earlier than that. Scores called RIT scores range from less than 120 points to over 250 points. When preparing for the MAP reading test, I highly recommend reviewing vocab with traditional or online flashcards. Quizlet is a great site to make or import vocab lists. Since the foundation of good reading skills is vocabulary, having a strong vocabulary will help you understand the passages and answer vocab-based questions. Next. Be sure to build up background knowledge in a variety of subjects, including nonfiction and fiction-based texts. You will need to have at least a basic knowledge of concepts in the hard and soft sciences and read some poetry if you haven't already. Know the basic structure of poems and the literary devices they employ. Finally, familiarize yourself with the different question types on the MAP reading test. You will encounter your basic reading comprehension questions such as details, key ideas, structure, theme, justification, etc. There will also be vocab based questions that test your ability to use context clues and references. Additionally, brush up on your grammar and writing skills. You will need to apply language, grammar, and usage skills. Know the basic rules of punctuation as well. Now, let's go over the first sample question. In the United States government, the cabinet consists of the vice president and 15 secretaries who are responsible for various parts of the government. Although the president appoints the secretaries, they must be approved by a vote in the Senate. Each member of the cabinet advises the president. These people are trusted with important tasks and with helping to make decisions. Cabinet members meet regularly with the president to discuss issues. Choose the word that has the same meaning as appoints. The answer choices are as follows, chooses, knows, leads, visits. To appoint means to select someone for a position. So the correct answer is chooses. Let's go over the second sample question now. Read the passage, then select the phrase that helps the reader determine the meaning of the word notorious. Although raccoons eat plants, they are also capable hunters and fishers. Raccoons commonly search for food in shallow waters and along the banks of ponds and streams. They will eat almost anything. In cities and suburbs, they often cause problems. Raccoons are notorious for knocking over garbage cans while searching for food scraps. Their tendency to trample and dig up plants in gardens has also contributed to their bad reputation. Notorious means widely and unfavorably known. Reputation refers to the beliefs or opinions that are generally held about someone. Because the definition of reputation is the closest to our keyword notorious, the correct answer is their bad reputation. Today, we have covered one of the crucial aspects of the Brangsam Hall Asia admissions process, the MAP reading test. Take advantage of the information you have learned to prepare for the test, and I wish you the best of luck.